Good day, dear students. I'm Mrs. Sylvia Navid, your English teacher of class 5 from St. John's High School. Students, welcome to another class of English Literature. Today, our topic is Poem, The Months, written by Sarah Coleridge from your Oxford Reading Circle Book 5, page number 20. <coughs> Students, before starting the poem, I will describe something about its poetess and her life. <coughs> the poetess of this poem is Sarah Coleridge, born on December 22, 1802, Caswick, Cumberland, England. Her father was Samuel Taylor Coleridge, was a well-known poet of, her, of his time. Sarah was an English translator and an author of children's verse, known primarily as the, addition, as the editor of her father. She died on May 3rd, 1852 in London. Students, you have to listen the whole lesson very attentively and carefully because in end, questions will be asked related to everything we have learned in this lesson. First of all, students, I have selected some words from the poem, The Months. I will read these words with their correct pronunciation to increase your word vocabulary. And the words are thaws, shrill, primrose, fleecy, dam, posies, gillyflowers, bone, pheasant, whirling. Now students, you have to learn their meanings also. So you would be able to understand the poem clearly. <coughs> the first word is Thaws, which means melting ice. Shrill, high-pitched and piercing. Primrose, a type of flower. Fleecy, of woolen fabric. Dam, a female parent of an animal. Posies, small bunches of flowers. Gilly flowers, fragrant flowers. Bone, carried. Pheasant, a type of bird that is short for sport and eaten. And the last word is whirling, that means turn in twisting or spinning motion. Students read the above words and try to understand their meanings according to its context. Now I'm going to read page number 20 <clears throat> and then explain it to you. On page number 20, four couplets are given. Couplet means a stanza consisting of two lines of verse, usually rhymed, or and on same sound words. These are called couplet students. Now I'm going to read the poem. Name of the poem is The Months. January brings the snow, makes our feet and fingers glow. February brings the rain, thaws the frozen lake again. March brings breezes loud and shrill, stirs the dancing daffodil. April brings the primrose sweet, scatters daisies at our feet. Now students, I will explain these four couplets given on page number 20. And the explanation is, <coughs> in this poem, the poetess is talking about the 12 months of the year. Very first, she is talking about January, in which it is very cold due to snow, that our body parts feel like frozen. In the month of February, rain makes the frozen lakes, and when those frozen lakes melted down, they make puddles everywhere. In March, 
<clears throat> wind makes loud sounds and the flowers move like they are dancing month of april brings <clears throat> all the primrose and daisy flowers bloom and they fell on the ground at our feet <clears throat> i hope students you understand these four couplets now we will move on to page number 21 for next four may brings flocks of pretty lambs skipping by their fleecy dams june brings tulips lilies roses fills the children's hand with posies hot july brings cooling showers apricots and gilly flowers august brings the sheaves of corn then the harvest home is born now its explanation students <clears throat> In the month of May, pretty little lambs looks like woolen balls play in the fields with their mothers. Month of June is the month in which all kind of flowers bloom and children make the bunches of these. Month of July is the hot month, but when it is rain, fruits and flowers come out with their full fragrance students. In the month of August crops of corn harvested and the farmers carry full homes Next four couplets on page number 21 Warm September brings the fruit sportsmen then begin to shoot First October brings the pheasants then together nuts is pleasant Dull November brings the blast then the leaves are whirling fast till December brings the sleet blazing fire and christmas treat <coughs> its explanation is students after <coughs> after august is the month of next month is september that is pretty warm in this month we have lot of fruits in october it is hunting time for shooters and hunters to shoot the pheasants that are small birds hunt to eat the hunters like to go for hunting in this season next november is a month with full blast in this month the leaves fall and move fast on the ground here and there and december is the last month with mixture of rain and snow that makes the weather cool so everyone has lighted up the fire or flame and of course the christmas season students christmas student uh, christmas season is the biggest treat of this month now students <clears throat> we will see that <clears throat> what we have learned from this poem or what is the theme of this poem the theme of this poem is that this poem describes the beauty of every month and to recognize their specialities we have to enjoy the beauty of these months in our lives we should always be thankful to god for these blessings and gifts he grants us Dear students i would like you to emphasize on the rhyming scheme and what the rhyming scheme means that means the same sound words at the end of every stanza every line or every couplet in the poems like in this poem we have <coughs> snow and glow in first couplet in second couplet it's rain and again in third couplet it's shrill and daffodil these are some of the examples of uh, rhyming words or pair words now students you have to see and find yourself what are the other rhyming words 
here in this poem are. Now students, let's come to the homework. Uh, but before homework students, I would like here to mention that you have to read this poem yourself. Try to read the poem yourselves very carefully so you would be able to read and understand it yourself students. Now let's come to the homework and your homework is <coughs> you, ans <coughs> you have to answer the following question students. Question number one is which months are cold as you heard in the poem that uh, November, December, January, February are the cold months. Question number two, how does the weather in the month of March feel like? It's in the third couplet. It's written over there. You, you can find it from there. Question number three, make a list of rhyming pairs in the poem. Any six students. You have heard this, that what are the rhyming words and how you can find those words from the poem. And the question number four is, choose any three months that the poet seems to enjoy more than others. But over here, what you have to do, you have to choose any three months that you enjoy more than others. And what do you like doing in these months, students? You have to write down the answers or your whole homework on full scape sheet. Punch it in a file. Write your full name and class correctly on it and submit in the school office on every Tuesday students. In end students, I wish you all the best, all the good health. Be safe and healthy. Thank you students.